Hello out there, welcome back to more XCOM 2 on a town called Bastard. We are just about to uh, go along to engineering and say hello to our head of engineering. So, without any further ado, let's do that. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. I can't promise any miracles, Commander, but I should be able to put some of this stuff together in no time at all. I'd suggest we get started with the med kit. It'll probably come in handy sooner rather than later. There we go! Shen Mark II uh, is his daughter. Hurrah! Um, okay, uh, and she's absolutely not wrong. Um, a med kit will indeed come in very handy. I'm on uh, it, Commander. Looks like Tygen has made progress on his research. We should meet him in the lab. Let's go do that. So much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had known. Ah, Commander. Excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. New objective so there we go. Uh, basically, while you were under then, uh, you were playing XCOM uh, for the aliens. Oh my god. Um, so, uh, yeah, our next objective is to perform an Advent Officer Autopsy. We should be able to do that now. I think we've got an Advent Officer Corpse. Um, so we might be able the to just try officers crack have clearly on with been that. Modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. So here we go. We've completed Alien Biotech. Uh, with little time to prepare, we were forced to conduct an extremely invasive procedure on the Commander in order to remove what appeared to be an implant carefully enmeshed within the occipital lobe. Although all indications were that the device was not designed for removal, concerns as to the Commander's potential longevity and the risk of possible remote manipulation by the aliens left us with little alternative. Despite my concerns, the Commander has so far felt no lasting effects from the procedure and appears to be recovering ahead of expectations. As for the chip itself, my initial findings are alarming to say the least. The device is psionically driven by the latent energy of the subject's brain, in this case the commander. More importantly, it appears the device functions as both a transmitter and receiver, relaying information via some form of psionic link. Even after removal, I've had to shield the device to contain the residual psionic field surrounding the implant itself for fear of what it might be capable of. 
If my current theory is correct, the Commander may have played a more important role in Advent's operations than we could possibly imagined. Scary stuff, scary stuff. So, what can we do? We can do that Advent co Officer Corpse Autopsy. We can uh, look at hybrid materials or we can start looking at modular weapons. Um, I'm actually quite tempted to start look at, looking at the modular weapons just so we can start using uh, weapon mods that we pick up. Um, I mean, it's probably a good idea. It's probably a good idea. Um, or we can crack on with the Advent Officer Autopsy to um, to move forward with the plot. But no, I think we'll we'll go for modular weapons at first. Yeah, probably a good idea. I do find that area of research. To of be course, you do, Tygen, and I'm sure you wouldn't have said that, no matter what I picked. We'll work so I'll there we go. I think that's uh, most of the hand holding Looks out like of the way. Oh no, it's not. We're ready for you on the bridge. Okay then. Just stay clear of the perimeter. Understood. Commander, good. I think we got something here. Despite all of Advent's efforts, there are still people who refuse to believe their lies, and it's time we let them know they're not alone. We've already located a target for our first operation. Sir, given our current location, there's actually no way the Sky Ranger could reach that position. Who said anything about the Sky Ranger? Shen. Status report. Are we ready? Short answer? Yes. But you might all want to hold on to something. go pretty cool we have a mobile base course for sector eight Mexico off to Mexico we go we're ready to start making moves commander by hitting advent wherever we find them we can help strengthen the resistance in return they'll contribute material and personnel to support our operations very well. So we've acquired a new target for our guerrilla operations against Advent. Let's take a look at it. Uh, Operation Moon Tomb. Recover item from Advent vehicle. Difficulty is easy, apparently, and we get an engineer for it, Dr. Helen Taylor. Um, let's do it. We don't have any other option, so let's do it. Commander, it looks like Shen prepped a med kit for us. We should equip one of our soldiers with it before they deploy. We will definitely do that. So we've got our lineup of uh, squaddies who were promoted from last time. Um, we haven't got uh, Kelly because um, Kelly will be wounded in some form. Let's just take a look. Uh, yeah, wounded for six days. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Only six days. But um, we do need to take someone else with us. Uh, I can't remember who. We, was it Eva we just had? I don't want to cheat you of it, Eva. Uh, yeah, it was Eva. Okay. And then we've got Rizzo, our specialist, uh, Roberts, our Grenadier, I nearly said heavy, and Moretti, our sharpshooter. Um, so, one of these guys can have uh, the medkit, and as before, uh, being as we're probably going down the, the sniper route with uh, Moretti, as before, if you don't have any advantage towards giving it to anyone in particular, give it to a sniper, because snipers are not particularly in a great position to use grenades. Um... Yeah, I mean, that's always my, been my thinking, so uh, we will do that. I don't think we've got anything else that we can uh, we can, we can pop on anyone. No, we don't. Uh, but I'll tell you what we can do. We can take a quick look at the customization options, uh, because the customization options are awesome, basically. Um, I don't want to play around with them too much in, in this case, but um, well, I'll tell you what I like to do. I'd like to have a, a process... <laughs> For <laughs> I'm such a nerd. I like to have a process for customizing things, and basically every time someone gets a promotion, they're going to get something unique, something beyond uh, just their default. So you can see the defaults are quite similar. They're all quite, you know, relatively dull colors and no massive amount of props, with the exception of Roberts, who has a pair of Lennon shades for some reason. Um, 
But um, we're going to give people um, some customizations based on uh, their promotion. So every time they get promoted, they'll get a new kind of thing, whether that be a new prop, like a hat or bandana and things like that, um, or some color for their armor, or a pa even a pattern for their armor. Um, yeah, things like that. That's what they're going to get. Um, you don't get everything unlocked at the beginning. Um, you have to rank up people before they have access to everything, but um, that's pretty cool. I like that in and of itself. So let's start with Ritzo. Uh, and let's give him a new armor color. And I don't, I don't know why, but I think he'll suit blue. I don't know why. Um, side, sideburns and blue, that'll do. So there we go. There's Ritzo. Um, uh, Ava has not got promotion yet, so we, we're going to. I'm tempted to skip uh, Roberts just because he has some glasses, so he has a bit of customization already. But you know what? That would be cheating him. That would be cheating him out of some exciting stuff. Um, so we're not going to do that. We're, we are going to give him something. Um, what can we give him? Do we not have armor patterns yet? Is that something that unlocks later? Maybe, yeah. Or is it under props, weirdly? Is that going to be under props? It, it is under props, which is weird in and of itself. Um, so that's fine. Um, I'll tell you what, you can you can keep your glasses. That, that can be your prop. We won't... Uh, Otherwise, you're just going to be a cacophony of different stuff right from the off, and I'm not particularly fond of that. Um, Moretti, on the other hand, let's uh, let's take a look at what we can do with Moretti. So, uh, we could give her a hat. There's uh, various kind of different hats here that we can uh, do that with. Uh, we can upper face props, which is basically glasses. Now, Roberts has already got glasses, so let's not go with that. Let's go with um, lower face prop. Uh, which is basically bandanas, or at least it is at the start. I don't know if it develops later. You know what? I think Moretti's going to be down with a biker bandana. So there we go. There we go. Our squad's looking a little more, uh, a little more unique, a little more developed. And uh, I guess we better go on because there's nothing else for us to do at the moment. Our options are limited. I like that. I definitely like the customization options in here. It's pretty cool, especially you can customize weapons as well and give them colors and patterns and even names, um, which is nice. Okay, let's head on in. As with XCOM 1, yeah, if you play through the tutorial, um, the game's pretty um, cutscene heavy at the beginning, but then they, they definitely slow right down, so um, we shouldn't be afflicted with too many of them. They're, they're nice little cutscenes, though. I shouldn't say afflicted. Um, but the rate of them can get a bit, a bit much. A malfunctioning advent data vault being moved on one of their transport vehicles through this area. As far as we can tell, it's carrying data files critical to the project we recently learned about. Advent is just as likely to be aware of the malfunction, but recovering that data is the only way we'll slow the progress of their operation. Neutralize all hostile targets and secure the assets. And we'll try and do that thing. Okay, Slums District, Rat Alley in LA. Exciting stuff. And here we go. I'm not, I'm definitely not as worried about this as the last mission. Partially because I think the first mission is um, a wee bit unbalanced for a group of rookies. Uh, and I've got some, some more classes here. So. There we go. Menace All the way there. We've got a bead on the Advent Data Vault near your position. Be advised, self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Okay, then. Just got to make our way over. Oh, okay. Is there some... some oh, is that just because of jumping through the window? Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's legit. Um, well, the first thing we're going to do is get our sniper, Moretti, up top there. That's uh, totally a thing we're going to do. Vado. Get some height. And anyone who's played XCOM 1 will know how important height is. Uh, on the other hand, we're going to get... Ooh, God. Uh, I guess that is a bit dangerous. Yeah, so we're hopping through windows again. Uh, and where are we? We're over here. Ugh. Seems such a long way, um, so we better get a move on. Um, so let's move Ritzo up to here, done. and hopefully not uncover anything. Well, I wouldn't mind uncovering a, a patrol if it uh, actually gave us cover against them and such like. Um, look at this podium for speeches. Is that what that is? 
can I only do that through colours of the window? Yeah, okay. That's, that's ex to be expected that I can't do that then. How about up here? I can't quite make it. Okay. Let's just go over here. Let's go over here next to it. So. Ah, it looks like I've got to make quite a few long runs to uh, to get over there in time, but that's fine. I should be able... To, can I do a ranged hack on it to disarm it? I might be able to, in which case I'm doing a lot better off. I, I'm going to put someone else up there. I think we're, we're safe up here for um, for not being seen, no I should imagine. Um, I doubt anyone's going to patrol directly into there, so we should be fine. Okay. So... Just look so far away when you're looking through fog of war. Um, okay, let's see what we can see by moving up a bit, maybe here. Me the Ritzo. Okay, well that looks that all looks fine. Let's uncover a bit over here. Ordine ricevuto. Able to try and see people. Oh, I can't see anything yet, apart from some civilians over there. But that's not as uh, not as pressing. Uh, oh, there's something there, which could be a turret. It could be a tower. It could be more civilians, or it could be a patrol. But usually, you don't see the um, vision for patrols. It looks that look. Yeah, it's a tower. Okay, it's a tower. So how are we going to sneak through there? This looks like. The, the route to cut through, basically. So, we may uh, we may go for there. But I want uh, a bit of extra vision there, so we're going to run over here a little bit. It looks like we'll have to move uh, Moretti off the top there. I don't think it's going to uh, it's going to work out being over there, but that's fine. Come on down here. That's fine for now. We'll try and get some uh, some extra height somewhere else. And Ava, where are you going to go? Um, well, probably here, really. Probably there. Let's do this. I like how when they're in uh, concealment, all their speeches. Slightly, slightly quieter. Something moved Let's over start. there. Okay. So there's probably a patrol around here somewhere. Isn't great news, I have to confess. Roberts, go, um. Oh God. No, let's, um. Oh, no, that's not what I want either. <laughs> Ritzo, can you. Yeah, you move here, because then you have less. Because uh, Roberts can potentially move much further forward, so. Let's take point with uh, with Ritzo. Our gremlins yep. can attempt to access the advent network from here. We might be able to hack their systems and get an advantage. But be careful. If they detect us, things will only get worse. Okay, well let's have a look. Let's have a look at least at whether we can hack. We don't have to hack. Um, we can cancel it. Uh, and I think cancelling it gives us the action back. So we can check it out. With our gremlin. So, 47% chance of feedback, uh, which is reinforcements. It will result in a group of enemy reinforcements being called down on your position. Blah. Oh, that's, oh, that's risky. 53% um, uh, of a chance of a small intel cache. Uh, oh, oh, on fail feedback effect, I see. Uh, and then re recover a large cache of intel. Oh, oh God. Well, we have... It's, it's too tight. I think it's too tight. It's entirely too tight to do. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. Entirely too tight. Okay. So, Roberts, where are you going to go? Where can we go that looks safe? Um, <laughs> just outside their range, I like that. Um, probably he... Here, you heard something from over there, so I think here is the best bet. It looks like you won't trigger those civilians, even though you're running right next to them. But there we go. Location Let's go take a look. We got eyes on a hostile squad. Woof. There they are. Okay, right. Whew. Okay. 
I think we might just go past them. I mean, we need to neutralize them eventually, right? But... Oh, it's over. It's only over here. Right, okay. This is what I mean. The fog of war always seems longer than it is. We should probably take them out. But we can probably get a nice snipe. Especially if we can... Can we get over here and get on this rooftop? Yeah, we should be able to eventually. Although whether we can do it without being seen is another matter. But we might be able to get just a nice snipe going on, um, on them. Because it doesn't look like they're patrolling. It looks like they're going to stay there. So, yeah. Okay, I don't know if these civilians are going to move, though. That's the thing. If they move, they could really scupper our plans. Um, I don't think... I, well, they'll probably move. I mean, they'll probably move. Um, well, Eve is going to go here. That's Got a no-brainer, I guess. Not great cover, but can move to great cover next turn. And then Donatella. I mean, through that window, maybe just... Will here be okay? I mean, maybe it will. And then that's full cover. Just, this is full cover as well, but I don't want the civilians to move and then scupper all our plans, basically. Um, can shoot from there, actually. Not great odds, though. Um, so moving a bit forward would be a good thing, I think. Maybe just here. Maybe just here would be good. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know further full cover. And I'm slightly worried about uncovering something over here. Um, it seems unlikely, though, to be fair. Okay, we're going to move here. We're going to rely on squad sight to be the, the thing that gets us through our sniping. Um, and hopefully we should be fine. Let's, um, let's set up some concealment overwatch on Ritzo. J if those civilians uncover us, at least we'll get an overwatch shot. Uh, okay, there we go. Right, they didn't move, which is a shame, because there would have been good. Uh, so, Roberts, let's see if you can... Um, shall we try and blow them open? Shall we just go around them and go here and take care of this? Maybe that's more sensible. Or maybe taking them out is a good idea at this stage. Oh, such a such a quandary. Um, oh, he can't quite move to the full cover. That's annoying. What's the um, what's the range like? Yeah, if he moves forward, he can definitely grenade them, which would be nice to lead off our uh, to lead off our attack. You see. Oh. I could just come through here and uh, sneak round and maybe try and get a try and get the objective first. They don't seem to be patrolling, and they are up above. And if I move around here, they might not have. Oh, there is a window on that side, but look at it. Or maybe not. Ooh, it's such a quandary. Um, let's move him here. On my way. And then we can take a look. Let's see what we got. Okay, now you can see the other guy. So we can get a definite kill on this guy with a grenade. And we can injure that sectoid very badly. I think we're going to do it. I don't want them up high taking a look at us over here. We've still got five turns to get to it and hack. Uh, so I think we're all right. I think we're all right. Eva, you I'm can move, move over here. Uh, Ritzo. Can they get a flank on us from... They might be able to get a flank on us from over there. I guess here. Ricevuto, mi muovo. It's not full cover, but oh, I'm moving out of full cover. This is bad. 
This is bad. I shouldn't even be doing this. Um, I am, though. That's what's going to happen. Um, oh, you can't do squad sight overwatch, can you? Can you? I don't think you can, actually. We're going to keep your shot. We're going to keep your shot. Um, and then you can just take a shot after this is all done, if necessary. Um, right. Ah, oh, this is such a bad idea. Probably. Is that covering them? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, that is there, definitely. Bonk. Boom. Hooray! One of them's dead, the sectoid has fallen. He is exposed, so when he moves, we're going to get some overwatch on him. He took falling damage as well, which is lovely. Oh! Did he not... Uh... Huh. He didn't move. In which case, uh, let's take the sniper rifle shot. 53%. Could be a nice kill. Nope. Sectoid on his own isn't too much of a threat. Uh, we've still got a bit of overwatch, and presumably he will move behind cover. Maybe they're out of overwatch range on him. It's a possibility. He's going to raise that dead trooper. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, that's the best thing he could have done, really. Well, the best thing he could have done is run out of here on overwatch, but um, evidently he didn't want to do that, which is an absolutely legit thing to not want to do. Uh, so you've got, a f have you got a flank on him? You do have a flank on him. You could get even better flank on him, really, um, by just moving up a bit closer. Uh, but what do I want to do? Well, I can't move with Moretti, so I might as well take that sniper shot again. Well, I can't move and fire, so I might as well do this. Second chance, Moretti. Yeah. What do you like? What do you like? Okay, let's um, let's move Roberts up to here and take that flank shot. Understood. Moving out. Seventy-one percent. Do me proud. Hooray! Look like a miss there at first. Nice critical, and it's dropped some loot. What do we got here? There we go, lovely. Okay, um, we need to move up, and we need to move up sharpish to get towards this. Uh, we're going to move up here with Ritzo, I think. Heavy cover, and uh, he'll probably pick up the loot on, on the way around there. Oh, I thought we were going to lock something there. That wasn't going to be good. Um... Here, or just here around the corner first. Um, we should probably move up a bit more tentatively. Heading out. Still got four turns. Although this is the fourth, so, you know. Uh, is that full cover? It's not. Um, although I doubt we'll unlock something by going over there. I don't know. See, here we'll see inside this building. I don't think there'll be any of them in there. Um, but maybe there will? I know, I don't think there will. Confirmed. We'll find out. Nope, Minus okay. Five. The clock is ticking. I that know, Bradford. Isn't going to wait. Get to the vault and disarm it before we run out of time. Copy that. Uh, okay, let's, um... Okay, Roberts... We need to move someone up here, On the move. just to have a look, so it might as well be Roberts. Okay, that it looks to be safe, so let's go here with Ritzo and pick up that. Illyrium Core. And then he can uh, move here into cover. 
Uh, Moretti needs to come up because he's not going to be any good all the way back there for the most part. So it looks like we might avoid another... I think there'll be someone around here, but we might get lucky. We might get lucky. Um, I'm hesitant to go one tile further ahead, really. So we'll go... We'll go over here. Closing on target in full cover. Now. And then we'll drop a little bit of overwatch. Just in case of a patrol coming in. No? Okay. Alright. Um, well then. Get yourself over here. Can I open it from there? Probably not. That's affirmative. Eyes on the target. Excellent. Menace one five. This is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. I've been troop spotted. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Let's see if I can explode some of them from here with that with a grenade on him. Uh, well, first thing I'm going to do is open that door. Uh, and then. I think I will be able to. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, come on. Let me get the angle on it. There we go. Braggard. Just do it through the van. <laughs> Not your greatest idea, Roberts. But... No, that's on fire as well. And it might blow at the beginning of their turn and then take out that sectoid. But like I said, sectoids on their own aren't that much of a problem. Because they tend to do things. They tend to do things that... Um, result don't result in oh we can take a shot from here as well uh take that shot it's a bit low um looks like we can't remote hack it which is a shame um can we auto kill that sector we could with a grenade possibly um we can go into heavy cover here with eva it's more important for eva to try and get a kill really um What's the shot like? 46%? What's that grenade like? Can't reach with the grenade. Okay. Tempted to put... Uh, oh, no. Didn't want to do that. Uh, okay. Ritzo, I think you need to go in... Is there any point in going in there? Because we'll go in and, and, and sort it next turn. We can't sort it this turn, right? Like, we can't. Actually can't, I don't think. Unless we can, unless it's like evacking and you can do the objective, like, I don't know. Is that a limit? Why can't we go further? Oh, we can go further in. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Well, we're going to, we, we've got another turn anyway, so we, we, we can go forward with Ritzo. And, um, see, we could just grenade it with Ritzo. So I'm tempted to take that shot with, um, with Eva first. She makes the kill. You know, that's good. Nearly half chance. Get a promotion. Ha! <laughs> well, didn't kill a sectoid. <laughs> but did blow up the car <laughs> and kill it. Which apparently doesn't equal a promotion. But, uh, never mind. <laughs> nice. Okay. I like that. Um, we're just going to advance with Moretti. Just get her a bit closer. <laughs> And then we're gonna uh, we're gonna head in here with um, with uh, with Ritzo. So next turn we can uh, we can unlock it. Oh fuck! Did they trigger? They triggered. Oh holy shit! Oh that's bad. That's really bad. And now they get a turn. Now they straight up get a turn. Oh that's terrible. Oh, oh, oh god that's lucky. That's so lucky. He was pretty damn vulnerable now, though. Going for Roberts again. Oof. Oof. We're so lucky that Roberts didn't die. Menace one five. You're almost out of time. The detonator is about to blow. Wow, that was that was so close to being really bad. Okay, uh, let's hack this. We've got to hack it. Could we have done it remotely if we just had line of sight on it? Because it's with the gremlin. So presumably that's the case. Okay, we've got no fail effects. Unlock chances, though. Um, okay, disarm the detonator is 100%. 
we could get we have more than half chance to research time on the current tech reduced by 50. That's pretty good. Or income from the current region increased by 25. 25, 25 or 25%? If it's 25, that's not that good. Uh, we're going to go for this, though. I'll knock it down to one day instead of three, maybe, or two days. Either way, we're going to do that. <laughs> we didn't get it anyway. Okay. We should be able to take care of these guys, but oh my god. That was... Um, Whoa, that was rough. Very rough. Uh, is there any way of you getting a, a grenade out? Probably not. No, you don't have the angles for it. Um, <laughs> but we can deliver aid protocol to someone. Let's see who's still in the shitty situation at the end of this. Um, I want to... Who have you got line of sight on? Um, you got a 32% there and a 20% there with a sniper rifle. Um, how about the pistol? 54% there and 32% there. 54. If you can kill that guy, that would be massively helpful to me. Um, give it a go. Nice! Exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, let's um This isn't really my ideal, but I'd pr far prefer her to get a kill. Um but what can you do? We're gonna move her into cover. On the move. And then we're going to frag this guy's cover out. No, 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 no. We're not reload. We're going to frag this guy's cover out. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Bombs away. There we go. And then uh, we are going to... Move on forward to here. Heading to that location. With Roberts. And just gun him down. Should be fine. 86%. Got a hope. Yep. Target neutralized. Quite. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down. Oh, and there the we go. That's the last guy. Status so confirmed. Roberts got injured. So it could have gravely wounded, I think, as well. So we'll be out of action for quite a bit. Um, it was a shame we, that they were just lurking on that other side and we didn't see them before. Uh, uh, yeah, but all, it could have been worse. I think unlocking all of them at the same time, like revealing all of them at the same time, would have been really bad as well. Our successful shop percentage is 75%. That's pretty good. Uh, Roberts made, did most damage and made most attacks, but was also most under fire. So, uh, yeah, kind of to be expected there. Not a bad mission, though. Not a bad mission. Operation Moon Tomb was a success. Even if Roberts is uh, pretty badly wounded. He doesn't look it here, but um, trust me, he is. Uh, not bad. Didn't, I don't think we got a promotion on uh, Eva, which is a shame. But, um, even though she did technically kill a sectoid by uh, shooting up the car that it was stood in front of was highly entertaining. And then shredded some cover. It was very valuable, but I don't think got a promotion for it. You can only get promotions for cold hard kills, I believe. Or XP for that. I could be wrong. Uh, they could have followed suit with Long War, and I believe in Long War you got some XP just for going on a mission. Um, not only for kills, but there we go. Still with the laggy low times. We're only a couple of days after launch. Um, but for Axis, come on, get optimizing. I'm certainly impressed, Commander. Another. Oh no, she did get a promotion. Excellent. Well, that's good. That's that is good. Um, that is very fortuitous. Um, she's another grenadier. Um, so there we go. We're probably going to move her down a different track to uh, to Roberts. So, speaking of whom, let's promote him. So, um, I think he had, broadly speaking, more luck with the grenades. <laughs> Help demolish the car. So we're going to move him down the demolitions expert track. Uh, anyway, as I've uh, said before in previous episodes, I do like to explore a whole tree. 
um, and then the other tree as well, and then I start to pick and mix. I like to find the synergies within one tree. I just do that. I like building specialists, like people who are specialized in one line as well. It's fun. So we're going to build him down Dem Demolitions Expert so he gets Blast Padding. This would also have been very handy. Uh, <laughs> I grant a bonus point of armor. The way armor works in this game, because uh, I don't think we've encountered anything with too much armor yet, or any armor, um, is basically every point of armor you have uh, stops one point of damage. Uh, and it, with normal damage, it doesn't get destroyed. So every hit you take is reduced by one. Um, it's shredded by various attacks like grenades and uh, some other stuff. And indeed, if you look over here, the first heavy gunner one is shredder, which means your cannon attacks shred armor. So there we go. So he gets a point of armor and 66% less damage from explosive attacks. Which would have been handy. He would have taken, well, he would have taken one less damage. But yeah, he's wounded for 20 days. That's significant. When he comes back out, everyone else will have definitely overtaken him. Um, so Moretti. Moretti also got uh, got a kill. Um, she did get a kill with a pistol, which almost makes me think she should uh, go down. And she missed with the sniping. And I'm going to RP this. She's obviously a better pistolier than she is a sniper. So we're going to go down the gunslinger route first off. Uh, which won't give us an advanced sniper at the beginning. Which may be stupid of me, but hey... We're, we're going to do this. So we get return fire with Gunslinger. Uh, when targeted by enemy fire, automatically fire back with your pistol once per turn. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. So, uh, yeah. There we go. These guys are back. Uh, we've got an Illyrium Core, a stock, and a scope. So evidently that last Advent Officer dropped some uh, some loot. Uh, a load of corpses. Yeah. Now that we pretty good. Help. We can start clearing out the old equipment and debris from the ship to make room for new facilities. So we can start clearing out alien debris with uh, with Dr. Helen Taylor, who's our reward from that. But before we do that, I think we're going to wrap up the episode there. Um, that was good. That was fun. It was all right. We we took a grave wound, but uh, you know, no one died, and and we got a bunch of promotions. Like that's a success. That is a success. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like what you've seen, hit like. If you dislike it, hit dislike. Um, Please do leave a comment. Please do subscribe if, um, if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you next time for more XCOM 2. Bye!